Hey YouTube, it's Jimmy Gunn, and I'm back. I actually have some time to do some videos now. Uh, took down a bunch of videos of equipment that I don't use anymore. Uh, so today I'm just going to do a review of my EDC 72-hour fail-safe system that I use every day. On the left is a 511 Sidekick briefcase, which I, which I use for administrative office stuff. And on the right is my tactical, practical, efficient 72-hour gear bag made by 511 Tactical, and I'm going to bust into it. Before I go into the pack, this one, I've had this pack about two years now, and I'm tickled pink with the performance of the bag. I'm really rough on my stuff. I'm not somebody that like puts things down. I just, I throw my stuff around. Zippers com are completely intact. The gra grab handle's been excellent. 511 rates the uh, grab handle for 2,000 pounds. I have no way of testing that. But my loadout with rations and water um, weighs 41 pounds. A lot of people say well, that's you know pretty pretty heavy, but um, I say hey, them soldiers are out there humping 100 to 150 pound rucks, and every time I grab my pack and feel it, I think of those guys out there uh, serving. So I say to you guys, anybody who have a problem with a 42 pound pack suck it up but all in all it's been a great pack I recommend it to anybody I went with the 72 hour uh, size because with you know when you go bigger you have options some people say well when you get when you go bigger it just makes excuses to load it out some more well it all depends on how disciplined you are um, the way uh, What's nice about the 72 is that it has four compression straps. Even when I'm on vacation, when I throw the pack on the bed, I pull out all of my, my gear, I detach all the molly attachments, and then I compress it to the bag is almost flat. Maybe I might take my first aid kit and put it in the pack, but that's what I like about the pack. The bigger the pack, the more options that you have. So, you, you know, I didn't want to get into a thing where I had, you know, three different sized packs because as soon as you start to do that, you start implementing things to where when you grab the pack, you forgot something in another pack. So, not to sound like a broken record, but like I showed, I have a briefcase and I have the pack. That's all I have. And the other reason for that is I see a lot of people making bob bags and they're at home. Now, for instance, I live by a nuclear power plant. If I'm at the mall, or if I'm visiting friends and family and I'm 15, 20 miles away, some emergency is declared, I'm not going home. So I can't grab the at-home pack. So I figured as long as I have my briefcase and my Rush 72, my 511 Rush 72 on me, I have everything that I need. Okay. Back portion of the pack. There's a fleece line pocket. I just stole my asthma medication. Back here I opted to uh, get rid of my Camelback and back here I just keep a six liter water bladder. It's foldable. This pack there's a waist strap that's concealed in a sleeve in the back of the backpack. This configuration that you're looking at now is if I was on foot and I had to free up more room out of the main uh, main pack. If I needed to free up even more room, um, I have several six, uh, 511 6x6 pouches. I can weave this waist strap through another pouch, which, which would free up even more room in the main pack. 511 6x6 pouches are very simple, which I like compared to the uh, you know some of my Expedition stuff. The thing I really like about the pouches are these guide slash retaining clips. It allows to keep the pouch uh, pressed against the pack very nicely compared to other, like if you used a Maxpedition Tacti for a year, it allows a lot of this wobbling on the pack. Very pleased with 511's design of their pouches. Top admin area of the pack, I have two Night Eyes Figure 9 clip style carabiners, nameplate, Insight clip light, which I use to light the inside of my car, a room, or to inspect the front section of my administrative pouch at night. 
Inside, I have bug spray, hand warmers, a large 20 gallon garbage bag, Night Eyes Curve Man for my earbuds, batteries, and earplugs. On the left side of my pack, I have a Maxpedition Extreme Roly Poly backpack, which has essentially almost replaced my 511 push pack. Um, clips on your belt, or if I don't want to haul the big pack around, I can grab this. It has a lot of storage. Below that, 6x6, six 511 six, Molly pouch. Inside, I have a, a compass, an assortment of figure nine, Night Eyes Figure 9 carabiners, Night Eyes adjustable bungee cord. The hooks will fit in between the PALS webbing, so if you want to retain anything such as a light jacket or a rain cover on the outside of your pack, these would be perfect. They have a lot of uses. 100 feet of paracord, two flares. On the right side of the pack, I have a Glock 81 knife, radio pouch, Biofong UV, um, 5R ham radio, so I can hear what's going on out there. Usually set to the weather channel. Night Eyes Gear Tie Light. Uh, very handy for accessing, um, you know, checking maps out, uh, looking inside the main compartment of the pack, or accessing the inside. Has two settings, and then you can just leave it on the strobe and use it like you can extend it like this and use it as an antenna for signaling. Here's the stylus, the long version stylus, um, Streamlight Stylus Pro, and a Tom Anderson tactical pen, and a 511 med pouch. Here's the 511 med pouch. Again, which is nice. It can be detached from the main pack and put into my 511 push pack or the Maxpedition Roly Poly Extreme backpack if I'm traveling on vacation. Up here is the Boo Boo kit. Down here is for serious lacerations and trying to control blood. Top section, Claritin, Tom's Gas X, multivitamin, rescue inhaler, all types of pain relief, cold medicine, cough drops. Purple bottle here is for uh, cavity repair. Band-Aids, alcohol swabs, and um, Band-Aids, alcohol swabs, and uh, all types of closures. For the wife or girlfriends, after bite, it does work. Tweezers, or gel, Advil, water purifi purification pills, and a cold compress. The bottom pouch is for bigger boo-boos. Pair of medical shears. CPR face shield. Ace bandage. Don't know what this is called, but this is that new tape that, that uh, clings to itself so you can hold gauze first aid guide and probably five to six four by six gauze emergency blanket I need to get another one of these and some quick cloth on the left side pocket of the bag and let me give you a tip if you overstuff even though this um, pocket on the bag does blouse. If you overstuff these side pockets, you will lose real estate in the main compartment.
In this pocket, I have a SOG collapsible shovel. On the right side pocket of the bag, I carry a SOG axe, one piece design. And I use the SOG sheath, but I carry a Gerber saw. Okay. On the front of the pack, on a uh, carabiner on the compression strap between the admin pouch and the rear, I have a Hydro Flask canteen. This is absolutely awesome. It's a must. Keeps things hot or cold for at least 20 hours. I have a Mad Rock carabiner rated at 6,000 pounds uh, that you can lock. Two Grimlocks. I like those. Single handed operation to access whatever you want to um, get to quickly. USB cord for my camera to download pictures into my board. Here's uh, another pair of carabiners that hold my 511 station work gloves. Below here is Millspec Monkey's admin pouch, which which I want really handy is just because uh, it sits in the back of my back seat of my car. Access my business cards. I also at the bottom have two other Grimlock carabiners. Before you saw the Night Eyes adjustable bungee. If you want to fold up a jacket, a sweatshirt, or something, yeah, I can stick it on there, run the bungee, tighten it, I'm good to go. Let's go into the admin pouch. In the top uh, pocket of the bag, I added these orange paracord zipper pulls. Makes it a lot easier to uh, see where they start and stop at night. The top pouch is a light clip for this light up here. Spare contacts. Lint roller. Um, keep the cover so it doesn't stick to everything in the backpack. Chapstick. Sunblock. Spare matches. UCO is a must. That's the only match you should carry. These are soap sheets. Stain remover, which I lost the cap with. CR123 battery case for my flashlight. And hand sanitizer. Below the pouch I just reviewed, I have a micro exorbent towel. Magnifying glass. Should be used as a fire starter too zip ties, a couple pair of a lock sack bags, medium size. This is the Solio Rocksta solar charger for my camera and cell phone. Solar powered calculator. In here, see the summit, knife, fork, and spoon. I don't like sporks. Fire steel, Dones fire starting magnesium bar. Thermometer, compass, and whistle. That's on a lanyard in the bag. In this pocket here, about 20 feet, uh, 15 feet of Gorilla Tape. Moleskin, two glow sticks, two Sharpies. Right in the rain pen, uh, if electronics are down, uh, very reliable paper is a good thing in case you want to leave a note on someone's car. Uh, don't have to worry about it getting wet and soggy and not being able to be read. Kleenex and a lock sack Ziploc bag. Pencil for the right in the rain pen. Right in the rain uh, paper. In here I have a tire gauge and Smith's pocket sharpener for my knives. In this pouch, Phoenix. HL21 90 lumen headlamp. Toilet paper. I'm the shark king. Emergency blanket. In this pocket here. I got baby wipes and wet ones. And three. N95 respiratory masks just in case there's some kind of goofy outbreak or if I just need them because I'm in a super dusty I find myself in a super super dusty area
this top pouch here. Gold bond, kind of help with chafing. And here, so is a uh, sewing kit, which my wife was in not too long ago. Frontier filter straw, water filter straw, and a all-weather set of Max Edition playing cards to pass the time if you're ever stuck somewhere. All right, let's go inside the pack. I'm going to do the compression straps. Pull this out of the way. Do one side, the other side. Peel it back. All right, on the front section of the pack, in here I have a SAS survival guide, a Maxpedition pocket reference book, a poncho, and in here a really big tarp. I think it's like 10 by 10. All right, now that the pack's open, the top portion of the bag, you can zip the very top of the bag and excess, excess, excess a lot of things on the uh, top portion of the pack. 511 watch cap. I've become a pretty good fan of these, I hope I pronounce it right, the Megillah hard cases. They're not Pelicans, but they are watertight and have a waterproof uh, lighter. I keep a uh, cigar and my glasses in there. This is primarily the only one I carry. And I also have another one of these, but haven't used it yet. But you get a good deal on these on eBay. Here's a uh, Seed Summit 10 liter bucket. Uh, great for the hotel. Uh, they give you that little bucket of ice. So if you're partying in the hotel, this makes it a lot nicer to haul some uh, more ice back to the room. This is a Soul Bivy. Um, I usually, in the wintertime, I'll Bring the, I'll make sure I, I have a bivy on me and some of these heat uh, heat packs. Uh, if you're ever stuck and you're really cold, just remember to shake one of these up and throw it in the bivy with you. Here is just the loaded uh, toiletries that I, I carry, which covers just about everything from shaving, collapsible toothbrush, a micro towel, shampoo, shaving cream, tweezers, Q-tips, you name it, it's in there. This is my Maxpedition FR1 pouch, which holds a lot of my electronics and such. I'm gonna, there's a lot in here, so I'm going to do a separate review on that. This is a waterproof uh, boonie hat. And in here, in this pouch here, now these, these, two, these two pouches here, I explained earlier in the video that they could leave the compartment and then go in... Uh, Go on the waste pack, you know, so you can buy some room. But in here, I don't see it enough. Set of binoculars. You like to for these for reconnaissance, and you don't want to waste your time uh, in your travels walking in the wrong direction and find out you have to come back. And in here, in a Ziploc bag, the Eaton FR150 Microlink. It's a hand crank radio, weather stations, radio, light, super handy. This is just a eye cleaner. In this pouch here, I have a heavy duty tie down ratchet, slime air compressor with the cords, and a tire reamer uh, repair tool. Um, it's important, hey, if you don't have to be on your feet, keep the wheels going. And in this pouch here, I have the GSI Heliolite Minimalist Cooking Kit. This is my cooking kit, which I just stated in the other video. It's a GSI Heliolite Minimalist Cooking Cookware. So I'll just show you how I have it stowed. Here's the lid. Uh, you drink or eat from there and you cook like that. Inside I have a pocket Esbit stove with four fuel cubes. This is a pot gripper. UCO weather storm proof matches. Collapsible spork. Instant coffee. Two extra fuel cubes. A wind guard for the stove that I made 
out of about eight plies of tin, it just unfolds. I could wrap it around the stove to block the wind. And it comes with a cozy. That's my cooking kit. All right, the bottom here is my water and food rations. This is a 511 six by nine uh, pouch. Fits perfectly at the bottom of the belly of the bag as long as, like I said before, you don't stuff your side pockets up with too much, which starts to borrow too much real estate in the pack. You won't be able to fit this at the bottom. But if you stuff this just right and put it in the belly of the bag, your bag will sit up. Inside, I have a fishing kit. Now, I just have this in here in case things really turn. So this is called the Penrod Fishing Kit. You got a rod, reel, and I have some fresh water lures in case I got a fish. Here's some water ration pouches. Sometimes it takes water to get to water or if you're stranded in your car. And in here I carry two Mayday food ration bars. Um, anytime you if, I, if I'm stuck somewhere, I really don't want to have to worry about cooking something. Um, these are a little bit more compact to uh, take with you versus, you know, packing up the freeze-dry stuff or the MREs. See, a lot of people put MREs in their pack. They're fine if you're going to use them that day. But if you have a pack like mine where it's with me all the time, so it's, in, it's sitting in my car, MREs will not hold up. Or the freeze-dried stuff. They have to be under, temp you know, they have to be temperature controlled. The food ration bars you he see here, they don't. So they have a five-year shelf life, no maintenance, and again, if you're walking or stuck somewhere, do you really want to be cooking? Because your location where you end up stopping or coming across trouble could change. So you just hate to have to pack up your cooking gear and move where you just have some ration bars. Okay, here are some vacuum bags. I got a Ziploc at this end and a vacuum valve on the other. I just keep extra pair of underwear, shirts, and some uh, casual like athletic shorts in case I end up staying at a friend's house. These are super handy. You put all your contents in there, roll it up, it squeezes all the air out, allows it to uh, stow flat. This is just a, another spare bag. And then here, these are kind of handy. These are, these are made by Fossils. It's flat cookware and you have a cup, dish, bowl, and a spoon. Very handy to have on you. Um, I use it in some picnic situations or if I go to, like, to the races. You know, hot dog, hamburger, fries, and then a drink and you're standing there in line waiting for it and you got to go back to the uh, back to your seat. This is, I use the plate a lot to, to hold my stuff, so very convenient. And again, if you're out and about and you're stuck somewhere, eh, a plate might be nice, nice if somebody gives you some food while you're waiting for either rescue or your ride or, you know, whatever. But just thought, since it's so light, it's flat, easy to stow, these are pretty cool. All right, I have to hold the camera for this part. But as you can see here, here's a uh, tripod. Now, the Rush 72 is the only pack of their three models, which is 12, 24, and 72. The 72 has a detachable administrative clamshell uh, part of the pack. Well, you can run the tripod leg back behind the compression strap and it bottoms out in the netting. So, very easily you could stow a tripod for travel. So, just a little tip if uh, people want to use this pack for a camera bag.